Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Hope you're all doing well. My name is Danny and today it is super early and just before I go to work, I really wanted to check out a new comeback that is from your day dude, or otherwise known as Idol, that is called Tomboy, which is the title track from their first full length album called I Nep Die, which is a very powerful title and it feels a little bit like it is a statement regarding everything that they went through in the last couple of years or more like the last year with the school bullying scandal and the departure of Sweetie, which I'm still not okay with but life happens and a few weeks ago Cuban Samen announced the termination of their contract with Sojin so that hurt a little bit but well I wish her well and I will continue to support both Idol and Sojin no matter what so going back to this release this album has eight tracks in total which means that it is a rather short full-length album but nonetheless, we have Tomboy, which is a title track that we are going to check out. Then we have Never Stop Me, Villain Dies, Already, Polaroid, Escape, Glider, and last but not least, My Back, which is a song that they released a video for a few days back. I did already check it out, but but I really wanted to do an album first listen to this album, so perhaps I will check it out once more as I do that video. For today's video, I will be mainly focusing on the MV of Tomboy as well as the live showcase performance. So now that I mentioned it all, let's jump right into it starting out with the MV. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that Suyan has participated in the composing and the writing of the lyrics for this track. And so we have Suyan, Pop Time, and Jensi, the composing, the lyrics are only by Suyan, and then we have the arrangement done by the three of them being Pop Time, Jensi, and Suyan. So that is pretty cool that she's continued to being so invested in Idol's music because since their debut she has been participating in the writing and the composing of the songs. The other members have been doing more and more of that as well, so it's pretty cool. This is my attitude, is written. Just me loving tomboy. Yuki with pink blonde hair looks so good. Look at you, my mom got my mar. You took off hook, keep on and cut my bro. Is it sponsored by Cock? <laughs> by the way, I have the English lyrics. Why are you cranky? Ooh. The ad libs in the back was so nice. Wow. The styling and the makeup looking so fucking good. <laughs> I hope they are wearing seat belts. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So cool. Oh, I really like the whisper. Oh, a reference to TikTok. Oh, little reference to I Never Die. She has a full verse, it's so cool. Yeah, that was in the teasers. <laughs> I really like the choreo. The lollipop is the connection between all the members. It's really cool that they did stop motion. <gasps> the Barbie dolls can't. I know. They didn't kill him. Oh, 
<laughs> Just me idol. I like the choreo there. You think you might find the body? It's actually just heart shaped balloons. Idol, the queen. Yay. Oh, they're back to the theater. again <laughs> it's really cool that they decided to go with a different style for this comeback a little bit more grunge punk influence and it's really cool because idol is definitely one of those groups that can definitely pull it off there's no like huge climax or something like that but it's still very intense in like the way they perform it and like the electric guitar in the back and the use of the beat for the fucking tomboy is like so freaking good so now before i continue giving you my thoughts on this comeback let's check out the showcase and then i can give you my thoughts on everything by the way yesterday i tried to film <laughs> and i did the intro and all that and then i noticed that i wasn't recording so i just gave up <laughs> i was too tired i just it's like yeah too much for me and from what i'm seeing here it was not sponsored by Coke. Because since Admix, I was like, okay, they mentioned Coke. So perhaps that in the other song, they mentioned Coca Cola. So it's different. It's not in their guidelines to mention Coke. The song is rather short as well. I freaking love their outfits, the grungy outfits with the leather jackets. <laughs> I really like that, I'm not a doll. I really like their spray chorus, the build up is really nice. <laughs> it's really cool. I really like how she plays with the backing track. It's really cool that Shiva has a verse. Interesting choreo. Just me, I don't really like that. Ha <laughs> ha 
Okay, let's talk about it all before my battery dies and I miss my train. So, this comeback was really interesting. I really liked this new take that Idol took for this new comeback, being that we have a little bit more of that rock, grunge, funk influence, and I think it really suits the theme overall that they are going for for this song. It feels like it is very rebellious as they are telling the world that they don't need to really define themselves being like a tomboy, you're neither a man nor a woman, you're just in the middle and you are just yourself and you really are powerful and confident and you don't care about this person that has been treated like a prince forever and now thinks that you have to treat him the same way. Not at all. The way I understood it, it is just a very powerful song from them, which I think is something that we have seen as well with their previous releases, and I think that is really nice. Um, the rap verse, mm, the second verse actually, was not my favorite from Suyan, I must say. I, I enjoyed it, but sometimes when we mix too much English, I feel like a little bit... <laughs> I don't know why, I can't explain it, but perhaps it will grow on me. The song in itself is really catchy and I do enjoy it. It's not as catchy as some of their previous songs and I don't think it is to the same level of some of their previous releases. And I like this new direction from them because it's really cool to see a group with every single comeback attempt new things and try to stay away from a defined formula for their songs. And I think with Idol, they always manage to do that sometimes <laughs> there are some exceptions of course and of course it still is a pop song with different influences from punk and grunge which goes really well with the message like i said before it's not like a punk song going full on it and i think Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just me speculating. But I think with the explosion of the career of Olivia Rodrigo, okay, with the explosion of the career of Olivia Rodrigo last year or two years ago in 2020, um, this influence of punk and grunge added to pop tracks has definitely become more popular as she herself took inspiration from. Paramore. That one is just the one that came to mind rather quickly because I am a big fan of theirs as well. So I feel like we have been seeing a little bit more of that as well and especially because we went from the retro concept with the 80s inspired or even sometimes 70s inspired tracks and now as we move along we have new trends and now I feel like we're going slowly to the uh, for this one, I think it's perhaps like the 70s or a little bit the 90s, but 90s were more hip-hop. I'm a mess with that. It is just to say that it doesn't come from nowhere, the fact that they decided to have that influence, and I think it suits them really well. When it comes to the MV, I really, really like this look for Idol, especially with Oh My God, they attempted a little bit more of those not grungier but darker looks and it suited them so freaking much so with this one with the grungy makeup they looked amazing Mini's makeup for the first scene looked so freaking nice the same for Suyan with the red sort of eyeliner or eyeshadow looked so freaking nice and all of them had much intenser eye makeup and I think it suited them so freaking well Yuki's pink blonde hair looks amazing freaking love it the styling and everything is so cool Mian as well has a much intenser eye look and the same goes for Shua and one thing that I really enjoyed was the creativity of the outfit some of them made me think of lion um, in the shape of them but perhaps that is something that just suits them but I really like the fact that they added different cuts from like what seem to be band t-shirts with ACDC, Nirvana, there's a bunch of different influences and I think it suited really well the vibe that we're going with, making like an homage to those groups, even though this one is a much toned down version of the songs that they released before, those groups that they have written on them, but it's still cool and it gives off that grungier look, aesthetic. 
to be envy. Of course, we have like the car explosion. The stop motion with the Barbie dolls was really nice and how they were like sort of kidnapping that Ken doll after poisoning him or giving him some drugs. And especially with the la 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 part, he sort of made it for a very fun and quirky part added to the song and a nice cut from whatever was going on before that so that i did enjoy a whole lot when it comes to the performance i think the choreo is catchy as hell like the <laughs> and yet again we have a reference to rock and punk and grunge and all of that that sort of genre overall so it's really nice that they added those elements as well in the choreo I really like their outfits for the performance the leather outfits with the shirt the leather jackets and the um, tie. I think it was a really nice addition to the style that they were going with and I cannot wait to check out their future performances to see how their outfits evolve and of course they will be using the other outfits from the MV but still I really really want to see what they look like in the performance. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they are as charismatic as ever, especially Mimi, Yuki and Suyan. Their facial expressions are so over the top, but it suits this comeback in this type of performance so freaking much. I really enjoy seeing them perform and the rest of the group as well, of course. Shula really impressed me with having almost a full verse. and being the center for a lot of parts for the choreo and that I really enjoyed. Myeon, I freaking love her voice. So here, she really killed it with the sort of, mm, sometimes she adds a little bit of raspiness or sultriness to her voice and it's just really good, really good. And so yeah guys, those are overall all of my thoughts. I don't know if I forgot something. If I did, you can tell me in the comments down below. I would gladly appreciate it. I am a little bit, tired and perhaps I look like it but it is 7 a.m so I'm trying my best. If you have any other song recommendations you can leave them in the comments down below. I already filmed my A Pink album review as well as February monthly review and Pentagon album review so I'm currently editing all of that and I will be posting it in the order that you selected in my last poll. So guys, thank you so much yet again for watching this video. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoy it and I hope I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye! Tomboy